AI is everywhere and I'm loving it. The amount of tools and resources that we have for our arsenal to get things done quicker is brilliant. And I mean that, okay? There are so many ways that I can now create social media content, images, video, add stuff in to complement what I already do. But I hope you noticed the words I said there, tools, resources, complement. I do not like to rely solely on AI to create my content mainly because I want to bring the human element into it. And the focus of what I want to talk about is that we need to stop faking it to making it. Notice the words and how I've kind of tried to strategize with the title, but stop faking to make it. There is a major explosion in the amount of content we're seeing, videos, social media posts, things coming and going, where it's pure AI. I mean, it feels like the human element side of it is almost eradicated. Now, you could argue, well, no, there was still a human involved because they went and added in the prompt and they went and collated it and they went and uploaded it and whatever. And they might have decided, well, I'll use that music and that image and all of this and some of these words. 99% of the content is pure AI. And rather than it kind of being complemented, like I said, with my own messaging or my own services and my own experiences, they're relying purely on AI to generate the wordings. They kind of go, give me a prompt about X, Y, Z, and it gives you these words and you just stick it in. It's not really you. It's not really what you experienced or what you can even say, yep, yeah, that's what I did and what I achieved. We need to stop faking it to make it because you're being dishonest about you and the services you offer. Now, if you're just going to produce content and you're not looking to kind of make anything out of it per se, like you just want to create videos or you just want to like tell a story, maybe that, that's fine. You could get away with that. But if you're trying to say to people, hey, we can create websites for you. We can do X, Y, Z. We can design houses for you. And you're relying on AI to completely design those images and the way the website looks. Well, you're kind of shitting on yourself as much as shitting on them. And what I mean is that you're, you're, you're faking it, okay? You're trying to make out that you can produce this. Now, I make no bones about it that when I do some of the thumbnail art for our YouTube videos, the backgrounds are AI and you can pretty much tell. But when you get into the video, when you watch the content, when you watch me designing websites or building things, that's not AI. That's me doing it. And if I was to go and find an architect, I want to know that those images they created, I don't want them to go and go, yeah, I just pumped, typed in a prompt and it created this architectural drawing or this rendering of a layout and maybe a product. Hey, I'm going to tell you about these t-shirts I'm selling. And yet all of those t-shirts are rendered in AI. And then when I get it in the post, it's nothing like that. You can use AI to complement what you already do. You can use it to make your videos better, but you started making the video. You can use it to make your images better, but you started making those images. You can use it to make your wording better, your script, all of that. You can help, you can use it to give you ideas, but then you develop and elaborate that, okay? You add the human spirit and emotion and the real you, the real experiences. I have nothing against AI, but when it starts to deviate into 100%, I mean, we have, you know, there's companies and stuff out there that say, hey, you can create your entire website with AI now. There's nothing wrong with that as a starting point. So the AI will create the website, but then you have to have the capability and the skill to go in and go, right, we're going to tinker with it. We're going to make it work better for me, my business, or my clients. But if you just let the AI generate and you rely on that and that's it, and you just pump it out there, the minute your client wants something different and you don't know how to change it, or you've not thought out the box where maybe we could have done something differently, you are hurting yourself and your own business and your clients won't forget you for that, okay? So I think using AI, brilliant, but don't rely solely on it because then you are faking it to making it or to make it, fake to make, F2M, fake to make, faking, making. I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.